Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss that how to deal with the UDL or UVL load. What is mean by UDL? It is the uniformly distributed load acting on the beam or on any slave member or any structure member. So UDL stands for uniformly distributed load. And UVL stands for uniformly varying load. So how to deal with the beams when there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the beam or when there is a uniformly varying load acting on the beam. So let's consider this is in a simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load acting on this beam with the length of 6 meter, the total beam length is 6 meter and there is a load of 3 kN per meter distributed over the whole length of the beam. Similarly, there is a cantilever beam with a uniformly varying load. Uniformly varying load means that the load is not constant in magnitude but it varies with the distance. So this, this load will be known as uniformly varying load because it is varying at each point. And this is a triangular load. This is a rectangular load. You can see here there is a rectangular type of load and it is a triangular type of load. There can be also load acting on the beam in the trapezoidal shape. Like in this shape. Where you can divide this load into a rectangle and triangle. So now come to the point that when there is a uniformly varying load acting on the cantilever beam then how to deal with such type of load or how we can convert such type of loads into pointed or concentrated load. So to convert the, the UDL uniformly distributed load to a pointed load or concentrated load, PL means pointed load, that is the load that is acting only as a concentrated. So to convert the uniformly distributed load into a pointed load, we have to use this formula with pointed load RPL is equal to the area of the area of the load. So the PL pointed load will be equal to the area of the load is this is a rectangle type of load you can see here uniformly distributed load is always a rectangular load so the area of the load is B into height this is B is a rectangle so this is the width B and this is the height which is 3. So area of the load is B into height where B is 6 meter and height is 3 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled we will get the pointed load equal to the 6 into 318 kN. So in this way we convert the load into pointed or concentrated load. Now this load will act at the center of the beam. So the center of the beam is 6 meter is the total so it will act 3 meter from here in 3 meter from here. So it will act at the center of the beam of magnitude 18 kN. So we convert the uniformly distributed load into pointed or concentrated load because with the help of this load later on we can find out the support reactions. Now the next one is the uniformly varying load. How to convert the uniformly varying load into a pointed or concentrated load? To convert this uniformly varying load to pointed load we have to use this formula the similar the pointed load is equal to the area of the load area of the load now in this case PL is equal to the area of the load is a triangular load so triangle area is half base into height this is base and this is height so pointed load will be equal to the half base is 3 meter height is 2 kN per meter 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 will be cancelled and from this by simplifying this we get 3 kN so 3 kN is the load acting on this centroid of the beam so this load 3 kN will be acting at the centroid of this triangle so what is the centroid? the centroid will be the distance from this load up to the point A, let's suppose, which is a fixed support here. So this will be the centroid. And this centroid distance will be two-third of the distance, where the total distance is three meter. 
if we divide this and simplify this we got 2 meter so 2 meter the load will acting from this support and from 1 meter it will act at this end so this is the way how to convert the uniformly varying load to a pointed load and later this load will be useful in order to find out the support reactions in order to find out the moment at this point hope you guys understand how to deal with these uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load to convert into the pointed load for more civil engineering videos don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any question you can write in the comment section